hey, uh, we've got a very, very special guest right here in Austin, Texas, creator of the fantastic Guy in a Buffalo series, which you saw at the beginning of this episode. You got to go check out all four videos. Are there four videos? Yeah, all right, hold on. Let me get you guys audio set up here. Boom. Just like that. There we go. It's the Possum Posse. Everyone hey. make digital applause for the Possum Posse. Woo! Oh, yes. Woo! Sounds so real. Sounds so real. So, it feels real. <laughs> it feels real. It feels like a normal show. So, so you guys, uh, <laughs> did you say it feels like a normal show? Uh, you guys are normally, what, a five-piece group? Yes. Normal. And uh, and right here in Austin, right? Correct. Yeah, we're from here. Uh, and before you begin, uh, where did the idea? Who who is the genius behind Guy on a Buffalo? I'll just go ahead and say that was me. It was all me, Jomo. And uh, and Jomo, where did it come from? Uh well, I did a video for one of our songs. We recorded four uh, songs for kind of a you know a studio EP, and I did a video of one of them uh, set to kind of an old public domain cartoon that I sliced up because I can't afford real video <laughs> and uh, I was trying to do it again and I found this video that uh, it was just so ridiculous I had to do something with it because it was so bad and I uh, went to my wife and I said what song is this possibly going to fit with uh, you know and she said none of your songs are going to fit with that piece of ridiculousness you need to write a new song for it <laughs> and so uh, yeah so I just she works those days she works on Saturdays and I don't so I just locked myself in my uh, office and did it for you know eight hours or so awesome but you so, can tell the quality of work <laughs> so so you did all four of them like in a row or no. you did one and then you did the next well and... i cut it down i was trying to cut it down to just one song and i got to 10 minutes and it was still too much awesomeness and i was i was like I've, i'm gonna get you know I'm, i can't have a 10 minute song no one will watch it and so yeah you had to spread that out like peanut yeah. butter on bread man yeah i said i'm gonna milk it i'm gonna milk it as long go. as i can keep it going exactly uh, I'm gonna milk its tiny nipples. Apparently, okay. <laughs> yeah, you did demonstrate some tiny nipples there. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. Those are buffalo you know, nipples. Can't... They're called teats on buffaloes, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, what uh, what are you guys playing for us today? Uh, we're gonna play a song uh, called Assumptions. It's about assuming things. All right, take it away, Possum Posse. If you please, can you can everyone can you hear all of our? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Assume for a moment, if you will, you're a dinosaur Chewing on a piece of flesh Probably from some other dinosaur When all of a sudden This mammal comes along, starts chewing on your piece of flesh Like he was the one that killed it Not cool, mammal How would you feel about that? Assume for a moment, if you will, that the little dinosaur that's you started crying. Will the tears of that little dinosaur be enough to fill up all the craters? Assuming for a moment that there were craters on Earth during the time of dinosaurs, which I'm not too sure that there weren't, frankly. How would you feel? Maybe you don't have to think about it Maybe that's not your problem Maybe you'll never have to worry about that Ah, but some of us do Some of us do Some of us do Some of us do Yeah, some of us do Assume for a moment, if you will, you're a small Vietnamese boy <laughs> traveling to Africa during the 14th century BC. Mm. When you're accosted by a tribe of natives who don't recognize the way you look and they put you on trial for being a demigod, <laughs> assuming for a moment that that tribe of natives believes in demigods. Assume for a moment, if you will, that they strip you of your clothing and they strip you of your dignity and they strip you of almost everything else that they could possibly strip you of, which is a lot of stuff. Well, maybe you don't have to think about it. Maybe that's not your problem. 
Maybe you'll never have to worry about that. Yeah, some of us do. Some of us do. Some of us really do. Assume for a moment, if you will, and I'm quite certain that you will. You just murdered your entire family. Not really because they didn't deserve it, but more like I'm, I'm convinced that they deserved it. It's debatable. Anyway, the point is, you go downtown and you buy a guitar And you write a song about assuming ridiculous things and imagining ridiculous things That way, you can talk about murdering your entire family in public and no one will know that it's real They'll all think it's just something that you made up to be part of a ridiculous song How would you feel? Assume for a moment, if you will, that you accidentally wrote a verse to the song where you explained the origin of the song, which was to cover up the murder of your entire family, and you accidentally sang it on a live stream. <laughs> and your band members were giving you the eye, like, don't keep singing it, but you for some reason did. How would you feel? Well, maybe you don't have to think about it. Maybe that's not your problem. Maybe you'll never have to worry about it. Not me personally. I guess, uh, I guess it would be like uh, them do, some of them do, some of them do, some of them do, some of them do. Thanks, that's a Celine Dion song. <laughs> Woo! Uh, dude, that was freaking epic. Hold on, let me say, change this other camera over on you guys right here. Uh, look, so you guys have a Kickstarter right now, right? Where can people go? Uh, they can go to the possumposse.com slash forward slash Kickstarter. All right. Yes. And they can, uh, also, they can also go to Kickstarter and search for the Possum Posse, but we the direct links is a little easier. So you guys right now, I'm looking at it right now. It is it's, sad. It's, yeah, it's really pathetic. Is it very sad? You want to take a quick look at it here? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's Yeah, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's, it's not... Uh... Yeah, it's really sad. It is sad. Every day... An average of three to four people listen to the Possum Posse. But for countless others, listening to the Posse is simply not a reality. Hi, I'm Sarah McLaughlin, enthusiast, Lincoln Edwards. <laughs> Uh, no, look, I love the stuff you guys are doing. Uh, and uh, so how much uh, you guys need how much money to do what? Well, we need $12,000 to make an actual studio recording. And that includes, uh, you know, mas mixing, mastering, and also promoting it. So we try to go with a realistic number. Uh, we've got awesome facilities here in Austin that we can, you know, make it happen. And, uh, and we're also going to then kick in. Uh, we've been selling some T-shirts. You know, we've sold some... Uh, guy on a buffalo t-shirts and uh some possum posse t-shirts that uh have helped you know helped us uh get a little bit of funding to to hopefully contribute to it so the goal is to make a real i was telling you earlier you know we used to record on this little plastic microphone and we would all lean in and uh try to get the mix just perfect uh which obviously never happened uh, and so we're you know that's the goal is to go into a real studio and make a real album and uh so yeah, that's awesome. Uh, okay, well look, I guess I guess we're we're about to hit hit our time. Uh, uh, Justin, is there anything we want to plug before we wrap up? I, or can we? I don't know if we can get one more song out of you guys. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it'd be, it'd be it'd be horrible if we couldn't get another song if, if they're ready to play one. But I do want to uh, say for everybody who's listening, uh, K S or is it yeah, KCK dot ST slash NSFW Possum will bring you right to the Possum Posse's page, please. Uh. Awesome. Do me a favor, throw him a couple ducats for being so awesome and actually coming into Brian's house and playing uh, playing a song right next to his daughter's room while she's trying to go to sleep. <laughs> no, we, uh, we practiced in her room, just a, literally she, creepily over her bed. She loved it, actually, mm -hmm. yeah. Boys. And uh, you guys, that band, you guys are awesome. I oh, love well, thank you, guys. you, sir. Thank you, sir. He yeah. likes the guy in the buffalo. If only, that, see, the thing that kills me is that there's only four guys in the buffaloes. 
Well, there's a, you know, secretly we, there's one thing that we didn't, you know, we have one coming out. I don't know if it's ready though. We only, we haven't finished the video for it. We've got the audio for the, you know, for the most of it. And I don't know if it's appropriate to leak it early. Have Wait a minute. Seen, Wait a minute. Can I ask you a question? Yes, Have sir. you seen Buffalo Rider in its entirety? The uh, film yes, I have by finished? accident. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about it until I saw. I was saying earlier, a friend of mine emailed me and said, "I don't normally email links to things. Uh, I'm not your aunt. I don't do this, but right. this is worth it." And it was links to the uh, the Buffalo songs. Oh, thank you. That's <laughs> that's yeah. that's high praise. <laughs> yeah, no, we had to watch oh, it to get. Awesome. We had to watch it to you know get the right scenes and everything. And watch the entire movie yeah. somehow. So yeah, that's that's right. a friend of theirs watch watched it that, that and sang the song. I paid I paid Hard someone work. to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so wait, hold on, wait, guys. Possum Bossy, if I'm to understand, there is a never before publicly heard on the internet a right. new, yet unreleased guy on a Buffalo song, Correct. and you might be willing to play it here on this very show. What? I think uh, you know. Here's the thing: we have to keep it on on the down low. Keep it hush hush. Yeah, yeah. nobody certainly nobody cut this out and post it repeatedly no. on YouTube. And no, tell everybody don't do that. It. We're no. trying to keep it. We don't, you know, we don't like to promote the stuff we do. No, it's a big secret. And uh, especially, you know, this is it's this is a leak. It's highly confidential. Guys, all right, oh my God. I, I got I got the perfect out for you. Okay, you ready? I'm listening. Uh, being performed. By Manuel, Consuelo, and Todd, three friends of the Possum Posse. Yeah. Allow me to present to you the unreleased fourth guy on a Buffalo song. <laughs> All right. <okay>. Yes. <laughs> ah, fair enough. One day the guy on the buffalo seen suspicious charges on his bank account. <laughs> Hopped on the buffalo and went to the drive through teller's window. He says, what's up with these charges? The teller says, oh, that's for that credit monitoring service. He signed up for two months ago. He said, I thought that's free. She said, it is for two months unless you cancel. And you got to call in to do that or not over news. Guy on the buffalo. <laughs> I didn't want that service anyway. You tricked me. Oh, guy on the buffalo. Buffalo turd in the tube, hit sent, and just rolled away. All oh, that banks you don't wanna screw your customers over. Cause changing banks is not that hard these days. Especially when one of your customers is the guy on a buffalo. Wow. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, friends of the Possum Posse. Yes, Manuel, Consuelo, and the rest. Uh, all right, guys, that is it for this episode of NSFW. Thank you so much to James Urbaniak, freaking best person who ever lived, who write for the Venture Brothers, who write for the Thank Possum Posse. Really fun. In studio, you guys so are the best. Thanks, guys. I'm going to spend the rest of the week in bed until the next. We're going to play a song called All Right. All uh, Right. By Mine. All right, by mine? Yes. There's, my, a, there's a long pause between all right and by mine. Oh, see, I screwed that up by talking. <laughs> all right, go for it's it. Ellipsy. You know, like, like you said yes. it, Brian. Well, on the day that we met, on the internet, I asked her for a little photograph. She sent it on over to me, said, I know it's ugly. I said, girl, ugly ain't the half. Look at you. You got blue teeth and you only got two teeth, but I, I kind of like to see you smile. And it appears that over the years you've turned into a big old steaming pile and she said yeah well i know i ain't no supermodel i said you ain't a hand model baby but that's fine because you're pretty ugly by most people's standards 
Hey, but you're all right by mine. Like well, on our first date, I showed up right at eight. She came to the front door. I said, I'm gonna wait right here while you go put on your makeup. She says, do I have to put on more? And I said, yeah, cause you got that one crazy eye and that one haste over lazy eye still. I kinda dig that ugly grin. Maybe it's your dermatitis or your gingivitis. Either way, none of my friends ever ask about your twin. She says, yeah. I know I ain't no supermodel I said I ain't gonna argue with that, baby, but that's fine You're pretty dang ugly by most people's standards But you're alright by mine And maybe I never told her that she looked pretty But you can never say I lied Cause maybe she's ridiculously hideous to look at But that's just on the outside, yeah All with the blue teeth And only having them two teeth Well, I kinda dig that ugly grin Even though she sorta looks like She fell off a dirt bike and landed right on her chin Eight or nine times Said, I know I ain't no supermodel. I said, funny when you compare yourself to a supermodel. Oh, that's fine. Cause you're pretty ugly by most people's standards. Hey, but you're alright by mine. She said, yeah. Well, I know I ain't no supermodel. I said, what a ridiculous understatement. But that's fine. Cause you're pretty dang ugly by mine. Most people's standards. Hey, but you're all right by, yeah. You're all right by. You're all right by. You're all right by Fantastic. Uh, dude, uh, you guys were freaking epic. That was amazing and awesome. Um, I, I guess I, I, I feel like we should wrap up, but I don't want to. I want to just sit here and play around all we night. We can smash but... our guitars or something. Uh, please don't. Because <laughs> <laughs> then it'll be a Kickstarter. Okay. We're like, we want new guitars. <laughs> we went on an yeah. SFW show. It cost us money. Yeah, that's a good point. That's actually pretty pretty.